Hi folks, Robert here with more River Training, and this is a continuation of our steel, where the building we were working on, and I changed it to steel. But as you can see, I went back and I wanted to use steel post here. Uh, it's probably better for this type of project, and these are beams. Now I've got a lot of videos to show you how to place beams, but for this type of building or construction, uh, we probably need to put more uh, beams in here. So I'm going to go to my roof level. Uh, we probably want one here to here. Now if I go and do a WT of tile these views. I don't need that one on. Uh, okay. Okay, so what we want to do here, I think we want to close this off here. So basically, you can do this two ways. You can do, you know, uh, that's this is always good in 3D view. So you can go like uh, Bing. And then you do the type of beam, which would be, that's the one we're using. And then you need to always have this selected 3D snaps. And once you go zoom in here, there's a, there, you see the little dot there, that's the snap point. And to there. So I'm gonna just close that off and then over here as well. Because what, okay, that, okay, so I'm going to go back here into this plan. So we need um, joists before we put the floor on. And that's just simply, Can do this probably in our plan view because it's better. And we'll go uh, structure and we'll do a beam system. And then here, uh, these are the different type of systems we can use. You can do this pull down, but for this, yeah, I'm going to use this uh, 12K3 because this is a joist of one foot. 12 inches, 12 inches depth. So here, when I go in to my plan view, see the blue height of the line, those are the beams, so uh, the, the joist rather. So here I can fix this distance, say, let's say uh, 18 inches or one six. Probably wouldn't need that many, but you know, and then, uh oh, you can pick line here. I always like to do the shape, so I'm just back that up a little bit, and I'm going to go. Or you know, I could do automatic. Let me just do automatic. Sorry about that. Yes. So here, I want to go uh, beam system. And yep, I want the 12K3, and I'll just place it right there. For now, probably that's probably a little bit doing overdo overkill a little bit. So since it's a beam system, this is the we have this option that we can just grab the beam system here. So I can select it, and I can change this uh, spacing. Let's say three feet. Probably don't need. It probably don't need to be. You can probably get away with three feet. Or the good thing about it is whatever. So you want to look at it that way. Yeah, it looks a little better. So here, um, as you can see in the three D view. So what what's happened here? I'll just go through this entire thing. And this is our joy. So that's basically all I'm trying to show you here, guys. Um, 
This building, you're going to go from, we're going from steel to, I want to make this three feet. And this is going to be 3D. Okay. No. My bad. So, I mean, I guess you can do this. I don't have to do this for you guys. I'm pretty. Yeah, there you go. I mean, these BAME systems are cool because uh, you can go back and modify them and change them any way you want. So, here, I guess they do something like this. I mean, like I said, you can adjust these any way you like. So this is basically a, a framing. Uh, this is our joist we would use. And then the floor, then, you know, the floor comes on top of that. It looks like we've got some issues over here. Nope. So I don't want to do that. Uh, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you where, we, where we're pulling up with next. Uh, I'm not gonna hold you, I wanna fix this. Fix all this and do this framing and, and this and then we'll add our floor for this. So some yeah, I got some issues here. But hey guys, thanks for watching. See you next video. Everybody be safe and see you till the next time. Bye.